Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome back to Rob Motive JT. Today, I'm going to be installing a mount. I'm going to use it as a phone mount inside the Toyota Tundra. Now, I've been looking for something I could use for this for quite a while. I finally found something that just bolts in and looks pretty darn stock, I think. As I said, I'm going to use it as a phone mount. You can use it for other things as well. Now, let's go ahead. We'll do a quick unboxing over here. This actually comes from a company called Victory 4x4. So let's take a look inside. We've got some hardware. We've got the front bracket, I believe it is. Could be the rear bracket. We'll see when we get to the install. And then the plate itself. This is what the accessories will screw into. They take those little balls kind of like these things right here. I actually didn't have the right one, so I have some coming um, that will hold little arms like this with magnets on the ends. I'll probably actually reuse these uh, to be able to secure a phone or anything that you want. And that should be it. Nothing else in there to deal with, so that's all that you need. As I mentioned, it is a bolt-on application. This top plate, which is going to replace the little tray that's inside the Tundra is going to bolt on to these brackets. There's two short ones in there and two long ones here. I believe they take a 5 8 millimeter Allen key. We shall see. And that's it. So let's go ahead, go to the truck and get this thing put in. Okay, first thing you're wanna, gonna wanna do is pull up on the tray. This is going to be installed right here, replacing this tray. So, all I had to do, because it's really hot out here, is just kinda squeeze a little bit forward and pull up. And it literally just pulled right up out of there. It was pretty darn easy. Next, you're gonna wanna go ahead and remove the wire on the back of the 12 volt plug back here. You can see right here should be able to just squeeze the little connection point down here. I don't know if you guys can see, I think you can. There's a little tab right here you just kind of push in and then pull out. Just like that. Leave this thing kind of dangle in here for a moment. We'll get back to that in a few minutes. Okay, once you have the tray out, you want to go ahead and remove the 12 volt receptacle. To do that, there's these little prong like things on the back you just kind of push these in and then you can go ahead and pull the receptacle out for installation into the new piece show you that here into the hole you can see right there on the new piece i'm going to go ahead and put it back into the new piece and this has three notches in it. You might be able to see here. And this has three little prongs. So we're going to just go ahead and plug it back in. Looks like just like this. I believe so. So we should be able to just push. Should hear a click, hopefully. There you go. Takes a little bit of force, but not too much. And that's where it will be mounted once we have this plate in. Next up, we want to go ahead and mount our brackets. I'm going to go ahead and start with the two shorter ones. And by the way, there's two different screws that come with this kit, silver and black. You want to use the silver screws for the brackets. The black ones will be on top to kind of blend into the black color of the plate. So the way these go, uh, they kind of angle like you can see here. You want the feet, if you will, pointing in or towards each other like this. And you want the curve pointing towards the bed. So this part will point backwards. And then they just go down into two areas that I'll show you next. Now, before we go ahead and get these ready to bolt in, there is a wire that's kind of held in via a little clip down below here. You need to pull this out because we're going to use that slot. And then this is going to plug into the bracket that we're going to put in. So you should be able to just reach underneath there and kind of finagle it around. There's two little prongs holding it in. 
you can see there is the tab on the bottom and the little push things are on each side front and back not side to side so you just want to set this aside you're going to plug this into the new bracket now with the brackets as i mentioned they go like this uh, pointing towards the front these two front brackets are actually going to go into the two bolts that are here guys can see right there there's two bolts down in here let's see right down in there and then there's two more right over here you're going to remove those they're 10 millimeter and then these are going to bolt in using the factory hardware okay let's get those tightened up There you go, and then we'll do the other side the same way. Next up, you've got these clip nuts. Uh, it looks like there's actually only one uh, that you're going to put in, and it's going to go where the uh, plug is here that you removed. So you want to slip this over that hole, like so, and then tilt it to the side, like that. And hopefully it lines up with the screw. Uh, I hope so. Next up, you want to take this bracket with the feet, or the top parts I should say, or the feet, let's look at the feet, the bottom part here, pointing forward. So those feet should point forward. Go ahead and put them over the clip nut that you just put in, and then there is a factory hole on the driver's side that will line up. Uh, you want to go ahead and screw into that. Again, we're going to use the silver colored nuts or screws I should say I'm going to start over here with this side we just put in see if I can't get it lined up hopefully without dropping the screw down there or the bracket matter of fact I think it's probably a better idea to start on the other side there that way we won't have to worry about the bracket sliding around or anything crazy. Get that one started like so and then should be able to put the other side in. Hopefully. Let's make sure that lines up. See if I got lucky. I don't know. It seems to be going in. I seem to have gotten lucky. Now, you just want to go ahead and tighten those down, and it's actually a 5 30 seconds Allen wrench, or key, whatever you want to call it. And then we'll get to the top part. Okay, we've got that down. Almost forgot we need to plug this little connector down here back in. There's a slot on the right side of the bracket we just put in that will accommodate that. So, you just want to kind of push it through there. Okay, putting the top on, the lid, the holder, the mount, you want to go ahead and plug back in the uh, plug that you disconnected from the 12 volt power source. Little snap just like that, and then set it over the holes for the mounting bracket, and then just put the black screws in. This is probably the easiest part of the whole mod. I will say it is uh, it is very tight down in here, so just be advised uh, it is a little bit tight. Take your time. Uh, do it when it's much cooler outside than what I've chosen to do, that's for sure. Uh, and I want to be able to see under here, so I know my arm is right in your way. Go ahead and get that one started properly and then hopefully the other ones will fall into place and line up we'll see we'll do them cat a corner I am using one of the black washers that was provided in the kit I don't know if you're supposed to there's no directions with this or that come with it anyway so that's what this video is for right go ahead and put the other screws in 
again hoping that everything lines up under there all right got all the screws in full disclosure on the left hand side right over here I did have to use a plastic that's key plastic pry tool to kind of push the bracket over from underneath to line up this left screw that just means that maybe I could have adjusted that bracket a little bit further that way when I put it on I don't know how much play there is it's not a big deal that's why you want to make sure that you just barely get the four or three screws or all of them actually threaded in before you torque them down before you crank on them in case you need to be able to lift that panel up a little bit and get underneath to be able to do what I did this is what it looks like I think it's an awesome product love it pretty simple install do have to kind of get in a couple tight spaces but it's really not that big a deal um, what I'll do as I mentioned is I will thread in some of those ball connectors the one inch ball connectors um, to go ahead and mount my brackets on so that I can put my phone or whatever I want to there and the good thing about this is is there are several as well as slots that you could put your own holder in from underneath if you wanted to to be able to screw something else in if that's what you decided to do anyway love the product works just as advertised nice solid heavy duty powder coated material I think it's powder coated either way it's black also provided black hardware that's always a plus in my book Leave a comment. Let me know what you think. You going with some other kind of uh, phone mount or you going with something like this? I'd be curious to know. Thanks for watching. Stay safe out there.